I uh, want to join with my good friend in welcoming Reverend Thompson to the chamber. His wife, Kathy, and I grew up together. Her father was my minister and baptized me. I know what you're thinking. It didn't, it didn't take. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm worried about your caucus. I think that the stress in the House Republican caucus is starting to show a little bit, and I hesitate to use the word I feel your pain, <laughs> but I understand and, and feel the dilemma that you're in. Bear with me a second. Last November, uh, Republicans had a great night in this country election-wise. They took back the House of Representatives in a resounding fashion. Now, my humble assessment is, though, that it wasn't so much about hiring Republicans as it was about firing Democrats. I likened it to, Mr. Speaker, you know I'm a baseball fan, and in the late innings of an important game, when the game is close, a manager might bring in four or five pitchers even in one inning. Uh, he's not real sure whether the next guy he's going to bring in can throw strikes. All he knows is the last guy couldn't do it. Now, the reason that I think there was wholesale changes made last November 2nd is the people are upset with spending by their government and right behind that are upset with deficit spending, spending money that we don't have, which is why that I think there must be a lot of stress in your caucus, because here you are being expected to carry the governor's bill to borrow and spend, and how difficult you're thinking it's going to be next October, November, when you run for general election, when you have to explain as a Republican why you were a borrower and spender and your Democratic opponent wasn't. But I also understand, Mr. Speaker, that there's an awful lot of safe Republican districts, and maybe a lot of your members can get over that, and particularly after redistrict might strengthen them some. But you got another problem. It's called the primary. This little group, let me see, what's their name? The Tea Party? Ooh. And the last time I checked in some of these newspapers, they ain't real thrilled with the borrow and the spending either. Will Rogers once said it's a whole lot easier to criticize the guy in charge than have to apologize for him. So I understand the stress that you're under as you weigh with these things. And I know, I know what's going to come back in a minute. Oh, well, Ward, you voted for these bonds yourself back in 2007. 2007 was a lifetime ago, and circumstances have changed. And the climate that's out there now, both economically and politically, is light years from 2007. Mr. Speaker, I wish I could tell you what to do. It's pretty weighty issues, which brings me back to my good friend, Reverend Thompson. These are times that are tedious. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.